Welcome to Richland Community Library's Watercolor Beginner Classes for Kids with Miss Carrie. Welcome. Today we're going to learn about watercolors. First, I'm going to show you the basics. First, you're going to need some watercolor paper. You're going to notice that one side is textured while the other side is nice and smooth. You can choose to use either side. I'm going to start with the textured side. The next thing that you're going to need are some watercolors. You can choose to use tube watercolors, liquid watercolors, which come in little jars, or you can use the palettes with the hard watercolors. I like to use the tube watercolors. It makes your painting a little bit smoother and less grainy. But the great news is they dry up just like the palettes, so you can save them for a very, very long time and use them over and over again. Now you don't have to have a fancy palette for your watercolors, but you can use the top of a plastic lid, a paper plate, or a ceramic plate if you wanted to save your watercolors and use them over and over again. You can use anything for a palette. If you would like to try tube watercolors but don't want to buy a whole set, I would recommend using cobalt blue, transparent yellow, and then a, a scarlet or crimson red. And with those three colors, you can make all of the other colors that you saw in this watercolor set. It'll be about the same price, however. Um, so I tend to go with the watercolor sets rather than individual watercolors. But a palette wa watercolor, um, even a kid set, will work the same way as what I'm doing here on this program. Now you're also going to need some watercolor brushes. Uh, the brushes that come in the palette sets are not great brushes to use for watercolor painting. Painters tend to use these uh, types of watercolor brushes. Um, there's one with a fine tip. This is a number two on the scale, and it's used for detail work and or writing. This is a number four. It's a more rounded tip with a little bit of a point. Um, this is probably my favorite brush that I like to use. This is a really big one. This is to help uh, cover your paper with water, but it's also great to use to make neat shapes and different brush strokes, and this is a number 14. So to get to know your watercolors, the first thing you're going to want to do is choose the brush that you want to use and if you just have one single brush just like this one, that's great. You want to see what your watercolors can do. How dark they can get, how, how much they... You want to see how your watercolors work. So I suggest getting your brush wet, getting the paint onto your brush. Now the less water you use for a palette, the darker your color is going to be. And same with liquid or tube watercolors. So you just want to pull it out. You don't want a big glob on your brush. And we're just going to make a square. And we're going to see how it paints. Now, I have a little bit more water. I'm going to make a second square, and you can see how light it gets. And even more water gets lighter and lighter. So I got three or four different versions of the same color. So rinse your brush really nice. Let's try a different color. Just like this.
there you have it. So try that little trick and we're going to move on to our first lesson. Now that you know the basics of watercoloring, we're going to make an elephant. To do this, I'm going to start with the big brush. You can choose to sketch out your elephant, trace your elephant, or just freehand your elephant with the water. So I'm going to use my big brush to make this all watery. So I just dip my brush in the water, and I'm going to follow my lines of my elephant and I'm just gonna fill it in with water. This is gonna help the paint spread out and make a really nice watercolor elephant. You wanna wanna keep your water right in your lines. I'm going to use my smaller brush to grab some color. Remember to dip it in the water. What's neat about this technique is it's really fun to watch the, water, the color spread out. going to go around and outline where my lines were. Oh, he's missing his little tail. And there you have it, a simple watercolor elephant.